Hi, in this video, we will take a look at the special tools and how they work within the AverTouch software. So let's go ahead and select a camera. Now with the special tools, they are located down at the bottom row of icons to the far right. We're gonna have two options. Now I'm sure many of you are familiar with this, but may have not used it or seen it within a digital platform or within a software. So let's go ahead and select this one here. Now you are able to change the size of the circle or the shape, or you can actually turn this into a rectangle or square or triangle. And you can go with the not transparent or non-transparent, semi-transparent, or the full transparency. Let's go with the not transparent mode and let's go ahead and switch back to the circle. Now, how would I use this? Well, again, if you see the hand, you can move this around. Now, here's something really neat. Bottom right hand side, select that and now I can zoom in. This would be a great game to play randomly select a letter to give a word or sound as an example r r for read d d dog you you get where i'm going with this now if you did not want to use your mouse or your pad to move around you can use these left and right up and down arrows located on your right hand side to move around I prefer doing this because it is much faster. And you notice I can zoom in even more. Another thing this is great for is to read or look at schematics and diagrams and to possibly hone in on specific diodes and things like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next special feature. This is to reveal. And again, I think many of you are familiar with this using a sheet of paper to reveal line by line. So you could grab and reveal one line at a time. So you could come up with your own ideas of how you want to do this. Once again, I can zoom in or zoom out. And you do have your option of the transparency levels again. You have your non transparent semi-transparent and full transparent and that's how and where you'll find the special tools within the AverTouch software thanks for watching the video